super cool party people and welcome to the vlog it is currently five to seven it is tuesday morning and the vlog is exporting and the thumbnail is done and i just want to sleep <laughs> shocking news i know i just i have not been sleeping well lately and i think at least short term I need to switch my sleep schedule back so that I go to sleep after editing the vlog at night and then sleep in until like 20 after 7 because that's an extra hour and a half ish obviously I probably won't get to sleep as early but honestly lately I've been going to sleep or like falling asleep at midnight or beyond so at this point it really doesn't make a difference because I'm just exhausted so I think that's what I'm gonna try tonight and um yeah, that's where we're at. I'm like dangerously close to stabbing myself in the eye with this nail. Why are you so long? Anyway, plan for today. Go to work. Come home from work. Nap. Invoicing. Then maybe working on editing my book some more. And maybe working on my Harry Potter fanfiction. I spent a couple minutes working on it yesterday while my vlog footage was rendering and I was like, this is enjoyable. <laughs> anyway, I don't have plans to like make myself look pretty for today. I'm not even gonna make my bed because I plan on napping later. So I'm just gonna chill now and have my breakfast drink until it is time for me to like actually actively start getting ready for work, which is in about 20 minutes from now. So I'm just gonna have a chill morning. <sighs> I should have slept in longer. <laughs> Well, hello, I am back at the theater, and I'm just, I, I, I can't English, and I just want to sleep. <laughs> so, I got the vlog up, and then I was like, mm, it's still got lots of time, and I'm not going to try to make myself look pretty. I'm not going to make, I'm, not, I'm just going to work on my Harry Potter fan fiction, <laughs> and so I did. <laughs> Between last night and this morning, I probably added like 3,000 words, <laughs> so what is wrong with me? But it's like just a nice casual thing to work on like even so like my embroidery that's how I can be creative without being stuck in my book and the fan fiction is how I can be creative through writing and not be stuck in my book so that's that's fun oh, let's go over here I don't want to hold this <laughs> so yeah it was it was lots of fun I'm liking the direction it's going in it's so much better than the first version I mean obviously and it gets my brain thinking because right now as I'm editing my actual book there's not a lot of like oh I could do this oh I could do that oh I could do this it's like okay well this is the way it goes if there's something I want to add does it fit in with the story blah 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 so that's kind of boring anyway I am at work obviously it should be a relatively a short day because it's a Tuesday and Tuesdays are usually short days. I did add a couple extra things onto my list for this week, which I have mentioned. I think a couple of them are due today. They aren't actually, I could do them tomorrow if I want, but it's on the list for today. So we'll see how that goes. And um, I just really wanna sleep though. Really wanna sleep. Um, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. I did bring my laptop down with me cause like I get off at noon. We'll see, because I've got that extra stuff. But I get off at noon, and my mom gets off at 1. Hers is actually a legit gets off at 1. And so if I actually only take four hours at work today, then I will go somewhere and write for an hour or edit something. And if not, then I'll just be here till she's off, probably. Um, and I need to go grocery shopping, because like you buy food, and then you prepare it, and then you eat it, and then you don't have any more food left. And like, oh, that's rude. I was actually talking when I went to my grandma's house yesterday, my mom came up and I was talking about how like, if I didn't have to eat, I would not eat just cause it takes so much effort. Like you gotta think about what you want. You gotta prepare what you want. You gotta eat what you want. Then you gotta clean up what you want. And then you're hungry again. I mean, maybe not immediately, but if there's one thing that like a need that I could cut out of life, it would be eating. I would still sleep. I like sleep. <laughs> How are we even, like, where is this train of thought and where is it coming from? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go get to work now. I downloaded that audiobook last night, so I'm going to give it a try today. See if it was just the book I was listening to 
or the narration on the book I was listening to, or if it's just audiobooks in general that I don't like, because I read quickly, and that's the thing. That was probably one of my biggest issues, is I read very quickly, and audiobooks don't read as fast as you. I realized, like, after the fact that I could bump up the speed, which is another reason I'm getting back into it, but also it gave me too much time to think about the issues and plot holes in the book I was listening to. Because normally, like, if I'm reading, because I read so quickly, I don't catch them, I think, I do catch them sometimes, so like maybe this book just had a lot of plot, I don't know. Anyways, we're trying a different book. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be better. I'm gonna go now though, because I've been rambling and I should probably get started because I think it's like, yeah, it's eight o'clock. It is Latte Tuesday. <laughs> so every once in a while, my boss will come in and he'll be like, it's Latte Tuesday or it's Latte Wednesday and he'll just bring Starbucks for everybody, which is super nice. And he knows everybody's orders and it is good. And so I have my hot chocolate with no whip, but add forgetfulness. He always likes to put fun <laughs> notes on mine. Usually it's like with sadness and despair, but you know, whatever. So I'm going to go enjoy this <laughs> audiobook. Not as bad as the last one was still. The narration isn't the greatest and the story isn't the greatest, but it's better than the last one. But I'm going to go enjoy this and pretend I'm working. I feel like such a frump right now. Anyways, I am in the truck. My mom just went to the bank. I think we're gonna go grocery shopping because I need some groceries, but who knows? I got off work and I went and had lunch and then I sat and I worked on my Harry Potter fan fiction instead of being productive. But in all fairness, I only had like 20 minutes. And so I figured working on something fun that I had like no commitment to, I could easily step away from was better than trying to edit something and just getting into it and then having to stop so that's where we're at i still do i want to nap i still kind of want to nap today so we'll see what happens i just i feel so blah there we go now i feel better because i can't see myself <laughs> anyway <laughs> that's where we're at and um hopefully i can have a productive day today it's sunny though that is definitely a nice change compared to recently. <laughs> I honestly feel a little bit like a toddler right now. <laughs> so it's quarter after two. I know I should go to sleep because I need it. I haven't been sleeping well. I can feel that I'm tired, but there's so many exciting things that I want to work on that I don't want to go to sleep. So I legitimately feel like a toddler that's just fighting nap time. <laughs> it's the worst. Also, my room has become an absolute disaster. <sighs> It'll be okay, I'm sure. So I think what I should do is I should try to nap and then with my renewed energy and excitement, then I can get back into the fun things like editing my book. Only have about 15,000 words to go, which is super exciting. But even if I don't get to it, that's like three days worth of hitting my goal. I also need to actually work today and do invoicing. So there's that, but yeah, I think I need to take a nap as much as I don't want to. I know I'll feel better for it. I'm such a child. Anyways, at this point, I will see you after that nap, hopefully having actually slept and being wide awake and perky and ready to take on the day, the rest of the day at least. Well, the toddler has awakened, <laughs> but I've also been taken down by some sort of cold, I think, or I don't know. I feel terrible. I woke up and I felt, ugh. And, um, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> so that is fun. We knew I was getting kind of sick last week, but I kind of managed to avoid it. But uh, now we not doing so good. So I text my mom, I'm like, I'm dying. And she's like, do you want me to bring you up food? And so she's going to make me dinner, which is very nice. And I was like, are you quarantining me? And she was like, I'm not quarantining you, but I kind of don't believe it. <laughs> Oh, especially because I like just got an email from my one boss and he was saying that one of the families out there, so like one of my other bosses, him and his family just quarantined themselves in their house because they came down with the flu, but it helped everybody else avoid getting the flu. But yeah, I don't know if it's flu. I don't know if it's cold. I just know I feel terrible and I'm tired. And so at this point, I am like 98% certain that I'm not going to go into work tomorrow because I, I'm not scheduled. I scheduled myself so I can avoid it if I need to. 
So that's where we're at. I'm gonna chill in bed. I do, however, I do have to do some work today. I should really do some work today. I have invoicing to do, and then my other boss already emailed me. He asked me to check out. We have a new POS system going in, so he asked me to check out that and give him some feedback. So hopefully I can rally after I get some food, but I think I'm just gonna mostly chill here. My room is a mess. It's fine. I really want to sleep. I like, I just slept not well, but I just slept for the last couple hours. Anyway, that's where we're at. And I will check in with you in a little bit. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, we're not doing the greatest. Ugh. I am the worst vlogger ever. My mom cooked me food and brought it up. She says she's being nice. I think she's trying to quarantine me, but I just like ate it all. <laughs> Oops. So that was good. Food is probably a good thing. I'm like uh, sweating and like the stuffiness is getting worse and I'm just gonna watch some Survivor. Still watching Cook Islands and then oh, we'll see how I feel to get out of bed and do some invoicing. Oh, I just... Uh, K-Body. I know I said last week you win like on Saturday but you officially win but the nice thing is that I technically don't have any more scheduled shifts this week so if I need to just not I can just not it'll put me behind of course because those stuff I want to do to get ahead but I'm sure I can find somewhere to get it in otherwise anyways let me get back into this I think I have some apple juice or yeah there it is behind me so I'll drink that and drink some water probably and just Hope for the best. I, I, I can't even articulate my displeasure with the current situation I find myself in. Alrighty, so it is currently a time, quarter to nine. I ate my dinner. Then I did a bunch of invoicing, which took forever, but I'm caught up now, which feels so great because I was really far behind because I was just really tired and therefore unmotivated even though it's like my job <laughs> it's fine um and then my other boss emailed me I think I mentioned it about the new POS system we're getting and he was like here's login so you can take a look at what we have back end and it didn't work so I was like mm, yeah maybe I'm screwing up I don't know sounds good though <laughs> so I did that I am see so when I first woke up from a nap, I was like, I feel really crappy, but like, maybe I'm just being a whiny baby. And then my mom brought me food and I was like, am I just doing this to get food? But then I moved to my chair at my desk and I was like, I am sweating profusely. So yeah, definitely something going on. Even right now, I'm like, I feel really gross because I'm just sweating like crazy. So it's a good sign though, obviously, because my body is fighting whatever is inside me but it sucks. I don't feel as terrible as I did when I woke up, but I still don't feel great. But tomorrow I'm not gonna go into work. I asked myself if I could have the day off and I told myself yes. <laughs> and so I'm not gonna go in. And then my mom's boyfriend was supposed to work with me on Thursday because he works at the theater with me. And um, he got called for his other job, so he has to go to town, so Thursday's kind of a bust and it's something I just like it's such a big project I don't want to work on it on my own so <sighs> I don't know this week seems like a bust and I told my boss in blind channel like if you need me to come out to work on the POS like scanning everything in the system I'm like now's the week so we shall see what happens but I think we go down for a bit I kind of want to work on my Harry Potter fan fiction if I'm being honest I don't want to work on my editing because it's not gonna happen because I'm not feeling it but Harry Potter fan fiction is fun not that editing isn't fun but I should probably really just climb into bed and go to sleep though if we're being honest <sighs> I'm conflicted <laughs> alrighty so it is 9 30 now and I am losing the game rather quickly <laughs> was i trying to get my light more visible yes i was i wrote like three sentences on my harry potter fan fiction i'm like i'm out i'm so tired so i'm just gonna pop into bed i mean i'm mostly in bed i'm going to lay down and cover myself with all the blankets and um go to sleep 
it's funny because this morning I was like, hmm, I think my sleep schedule isn't working out. I need to adjust this. So my plan was to edit this vlog tonight, but now my plan is just to sleep because obviously I need it. I'm just, the last thing I'm going to do before I go to bed is email one of my coworkers because I told her I was coming in tomorrow. So I'll just like let her know that I asked myself if I could have the day off and because I'm such a great boss, I told myself I could. Fun times. Anyways, with that, I'm gonna just try to conk out real quick here. So, thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I will see you tomorrow when I do very similar things. Good night.